friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. In this video, I am going to demonstrate Mohanta's lens tilt technique. This is a totally unedited real-time video. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome. The microscope is Lumera T from Jais and the fecomation is Oatly Cataract 3. The antechamber has been filled up with Pisco. This is a side port on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away. Now capsulorexis is being done with the help of uh, Utreta forceps. Now since I have planned Mohanta's lens tilt technique. In this technique the rexis size should be about 6 millimeter. Yes, the rexis should be large at least 5.75 millimeter. It is not an uh, ideal rexis for, for premium lenses like multifocal and toric intraocular lenses. By hydrodissection, one part of the equator prolapses out of the capsular bag and the lens stands on the other side of the equator. And now I take a chopper in my left hand, it is Mohanta's chopper, very small chopper. Place it on the posterior surface of the cataract, goes through the side port and I place it on the posterior surface of the cataract. The phaconidal goes in and it is with bevel sideways, I start eating off the portion which is supracapsular, which has prolapsed out of the capsular bag. And then I go to deeper plane and between two instruments I crush the nucleus and divide it into two parts. And the portion which is in front is emulsified. Then I go to the other part and eat up this portion. Thus, the nucleus is many. This is a very safe technique, it's very little chance of catching the posterior capsule because the other side of the equator is protecting the posterior capsule. Now I am trying to remove part of the cortex by the hand piece itself, but it did not work well in this case. In some cases I find it very easy to remove. In some cases it is not so easy. Inject visco, fill up the AC and the capsular bag and now I go with the coaxial IA, coaxial irrigation aspiration device. This is from Oatly again and remove the cortex. With coaxial, the removal of cortex is very fast. I caught the PC, used reflux and released it. And now, I take the irrigating probe of the bimanual IA. and enlarge the main wound forming the anterior chamber by irrigation. And here goes the intraocular lens. This is called hydro implantation where you keep the anterior chamber formed by irrigation and place the lens in the capsular bag. The haptics are in the bag the optic is not covered by the anterior capsular rim. 
So, this is not the ideal technique, not the ideal rexis for premium intraocular lenses where you want the rexis overlapping the peripheral part of the optic. However, this is a very good technique for monofocal intraocular lenses. And the risk of PCO is less when the rexis is large. Now, the antechamber is nicely formed. I am using a Simco for the final anterior chamber lavage, and here I how I form the antechamber in this way. The integrity of the wounds are checked and the case is concluded. This is a, a real time unedited video. Thank you for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.